Hey, what's going on everybody? Jerry with 3DHP. Yosu sent me out two bottles. They're gray resin. 1,000 grams each. And I thought, wow, I can do a bunch of minis. And I've been on Loot Studios Patreon here for a few months. And they got some really cool minis. And they're, they're highly detailed. For 15 bucks a month, you get a ton of minis. I mean, literally a ton of minis. And they're welcome pack. I mean, it's just crazy how much stuff you get for 15 bucks a month. And I've been wanting to do minis for a while because my models are too damn big. You know, as you look around, you watch my videos, like, God, they're just... I've been doing this for like, I don't know, seven, eight years now. They're just way too big, so I want to do some minis. Most minis are thir three, like, I don't know, 35 millimeters tall. They're really tiny, but also, but Luke Studio has them at 75 millimeters. And, you know, they have them that are pre-supported. They've got them that are hollowed. And I use Cheetah Box Pro, so I figured, hey, I want to do 75 millimeters. They're manageable. I can work with them. I can paint them when they're that large. And they're real tiny. They're harder to work with. And I don't play any board games, but I just like the figurines. I mean, the sculpting, it's amazing the work done on them. So i like to show you a bunch of time lapses here and what I've done. And then we'll come back and we'll look at each and every one and talk about them. But yeah, um, you know, Loot Studios, Yosu Gray Resin. Awesome. Check this out right here. Okay, I've got the files sliced. They're on the SD card. Stick it in the machine. And always be safe. Uh, wear your safety glasses. You never know when something might splash or hit you in the eyes. Gloves. Got to have our gloves on. Don't want to get any resin on your hands. And, no, oh, these are cheap gloves from Amazon. I bought them. Forget what the mill was on them. They're very thin. I usually buy them off Harbor Freight. But Harbor Freight, they're really jacked at the prices now. So, we'll get there. And then a Yosu resin. I've already pre-shucked these up. But we're going to go ahead and shake it up just a little bit again. And, uh. Take off the safety ring. There'll be another. There's another safety cap underneath. I just grab it with my nails, my fingertips, and kind of pull it off there. Have a little bit of resin there in the cap. And in the there's a fill line on my uh, resin printer, so I'll fill it about halfway to the fill line. If you don't have a fill line, do not go above halfway because you don't want it to come down and go everywhere. Have your build plate run it over the top, so that's at halfway. That's good to go. And I just have to set up my DSLR camera, and we'll be uh, ready to start uh, time lapsing. <coughs> Wipe off my glove there. <coughs> Whenever you uh, take these gloves off, you pull one inside the other. That way, if there's any resin on them, you don't get any debris on your hands, anything on your hands. But always wash your hands afterwards. And here we go on the first time lapse. Now I time lapse these over a week, and I had a setting. I had something wrong with my top, my camera, and the way I had it set up. I've done this many, many videos in the past, and I don't know what happened, but I'm unable to speed up this time lapse. So this is going to take a minute and a half right here while we're watching it to complete. I'm unable to to uh, speed it up. And I'd done this like I don't know on all the prints. I had two or three models on the build plate at a time, two, three, four models, and. Many, many, many time lapses. I was unable to use the footage because I couldn't speed them up any faster than this. So I don't know what in the hell I did wrong on my camera, but I had something set wrong. And I've done this so many times in the past. I wanted to show all these cool time lapses over these two bottles, and it's not happening. So we'll, we'll just be this one here where it's growing really slow. And this took about, I don't know, eight hours right here, what you're watching. You know, or seven or eight hours. I don't remember exactly how long it was, but... And I got a flickering issue there. I got to figure out why it's flickering on me. Got a ring light on it and then the LED light in the room on the ceiling. But, yeah, something's up. So I apologize for not having all these time lapse to show you on all the prints. <clears throat> and here we go. We got the one done. The, there's a lot of support. So I'm going to put it straight in IPA and wash them really well. Um... Typically, I always remove all the supports first. I take them off the build plate, I remove the supports, and then I either I pre-wash them, and then I put them in IPA, and, but this time I'm not. Now I'm going to check the vat here and see if I have any debris. It's kind of running it across there real slow, and oh, yeah, right there I'm hitting something. So I'm going to have to uh, strain my resin because there's something in it, and if you have a part of a support or a failure or anything in your resin, and you come down and do your next print, you're going to either rip your FEP or bust your screen. 
So most people, after each print, will dump the resin, strain it, and check it. I usually just run my tool through it, and if I see any, feel any debris, or I see anything on the model that looks like it's missing, or you know something failed, then I'll have to strain it. So let me grab my bottle here, and then I'll get my funnel here in a second, and a, and a strainer, and then I buy my strainers. You can get them on Amazon. They're paint strainers. I usually go to Harbor Freight. You can get them there real reasonable. And then screw the vat. My right side's being difficult. Let me get that loose. I have to clean the threads probably on that bolt. Now just carefully take the vat. Don't spill it. And filter it back into the bottle. And I'll take my blue soft spatula, or my yellow spatula, it's very soft, and just slowly scrape all the excess resin out. And then I'll go around, wipe the edges really good, put it back on, and I'm ready to go. Now when I clean this, I use spray away glass cleaner, and I use blue shop towels to clean everything out. And then once it's really clean, and I've cleaned everything out, then I take, uh, and here I'm going to scrape them loose. I take, um, what's it called, rain -X, and I put rain -X on my FEP to help alleviate the any popping sounds. And there the prints are coming off really good. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish these over, it takes me around a week. And then here's a time lapse, I was on a Twitch, and I kind of time lapsed uh, taking all the sports off. And once these are all off, I'm going to re-clean them in IPA really good and plush them out because they're hollowed. And then uh, I'll take them out in the garage and I'll spray them out with my air compressor. You don't want any resin, moisture, IPA, anything in these inside the prints that are hollowed. Completely dry them out the best of your ability with an air compressor or something. And then you can, uh, before you cure them. So, just going through here. And if you want to check this out, I'm on Twitch at Jerry3DHP. It's where I have my live streams. I popped on there for a couple of days and I was cleaning up supports, working on them. But yeah, um, the Yosu resin is awesome. The gray resin, it, it prints really nice. It's, like I said, I've used it in the past. It's awesome resin. They have a great price on it on Amazon. And I highly recommend it. I've had zero failures with it. I've had no problems whatsoever with the resin. It works really amazingly well. Love the resin. And when I cure all my models, I, I cure them usually for around 10 minutes per side. Or 10 minutes on one side, I flip them over, cure the bottom five or six minutes. Don't rely on the reflective surface just to cure the bottom. There's too many areas you can't get. You always need to flip your models over and do both sides. Um, and if you can't do that thoroughly, then you can always take them out, put them in the sun for five or 10 minutes and go through everything. But yeah, I definitely cure both sides. In the video here, you're only gonna see me cure on the one side as I go through them. But yeah, they came out great. And those stains you see in my wash and cure station, that's from IPA. That's a, or, and or resin that's been uh, splashed out and it's dried. And I can't seem to get that off. I wish I could to clean up the machine. But yeah, um, cure both sides. Be sure they're 100% dried out, like I said, before you do that. And uh, looking pretty awesome, man. Woohoo! Okay, since I've got so many here, I got my cell phone out. It's got real high quality, 
and I'll just go around and show them all to you one at a one. Uh, I got them all lined up. I'll show them here one after another. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to spin them around, but I can show them all to you. Um, I don't have all their names. I'll sh throw them up on the screen here. They got a bunch of uh, pictures of them, and I'll show up what I can find here. But let's take a look at them. Yeah, they all came out great. And as you've seen, all the bases print separately. Some kind of a creature there, I forget the name of it. And there's a drunken dude at a table. The stool is separate, the man, and then the bigger table, they're all three are separate. And these have not been primed, they're all gray resin from Yosu. As you see them, they've been cured and then I glued them to the bases. And that dude there, he's at 75%, but he's a lot bigger, but it said 75% on the file. And at the end of the video, be sure you stay tuned. I'll have some screenshots of all these. If you can check them out. And below in the description, I'll have a link to Loot Studios. Uh, the Yossi Resin over on Amazon. Uh, their website will be listed. But yeah, they came out great. Great sculpts. Had no issues with them whatsoever printing them. No failures whatsoever. And I'm going to check them up the back side here. And let's put the camera around. Very cool. Well, I hope you liked the video, guys. It's taken me about a week to get all these printed, printing three or four at a time, sometimes two at a time. Yeah, all the bases are separate, as you've seen. All the characters have been glued on. I got them all super glued. Nothing has been primed yet. Everything is uh, ready to be primed and, uh, you know, prime, prime it with uh, probably black primer, miss it with some white from down above, and then start painting them at some point. But yeah, the Yossi Gray resin, it works great. I've tried it before in the past. I've had zero problems with it. I've reviewed a lot of different resins, and most resins print fine. Some I've had trouble with, but I won't ever use it again. But, you know, could have been a bad batch on some, I don't know. But there's, I have so much, so many different hobbies and things I'm working on. I work on FDM printers, lasers, resin printers, uh, CNC machines, got so much going on all the time, I kind of jump around from project to project and from video to video. But these printed great, they look amazing as you can see here on camera. So all I can say is I'll put links down below where you can check out their webpage where they're at on Amazon. I have links to Luke Studio, the Patreon, I've been on it for a few months and I'm probably going to skip this next month. It's uh, little space figures and then maybe when I see something I like then I'll come back and you know buy whatever month I like on minis here and there. But yeah, these are all done 75 millimeters. They were all hollowed and pre-supported. It is, you know, it, they did an awesome job on it. Great scope. I love them. They're great. Resin worked out great. I printed on my uh, Anacubic Photon Mono X, every single one of them. And I time-lapsed them with my cable I got from Andrew Sink and Uncle Jesse. The time-lapse cable on my DSLR. And I'm currently filming this with a... Uh, it's a Rebel TI-5 by Canon, and I changed out the lens. I have a different lens now, you might notice. I had it, I think it's called a 10 by 18 was on it, and now I've got an 18 by 55. I got a new lens I picked, off, picked up off of Facebook Marketplace. It's working great. And yeah, I hope you liked the video, so please give me a like, subscribe, share. You know, help my channel grow. I'd really appreciate it. Later, guys.